What's up, everyone? Time for another session of Caves of Cud. I am... This session has been brought to you by Laundry Morning and Dishes Morning. So, you may thank the chores that uh, could not otherwise have gotten done without allotting this time. I will attempt to remain focused. I make no promises. We were on our way to the Six Day Stilt last session so that we may acquire a spray bottle so that I may begin the process of doing away with my poor scrolling through my various menus. Get the mumble mouth here. A fungal infection that has taken over my torso slot and uh, replaced my recycling suit. It's just as protective as the recycling suit with none of the weight also has reputation bonuses and penalties, and it has been slipping information to us. Uh, <laughs> a, uh, a wearable information guy. I'm, I'm not that much into forced transformation. It's not a thing of mine. Uh, this whole mumble mouth thing, like, like the mutations are one thing because I'm like entering into that. I'm, like, I'm playing a character taking the mutations and I'm selecting the mutations and if I had like unstable genome or even if I roll up a random mutation like I've chosen the play style the, the fungus thing though just it it's trying to be symbiotic and helpful but it's just a damn parasite that I uh, that if necessary I will dunk my entire body in acid uh, not going to a mad pole though <laughs> that's my body slot uh, a number of you have expressed j the joy of joy in finding mad poles, uh, which uh, do a great job at dismembering and following you through drams of blood. It's good times. Uh, beyond mumble mouth, uh, we're looking all right with equipment. Uh, we could have been better off. I uh, could have gotten better things from the goats. I would have fought more goats. But there was this, and I just want to get rid of it, so we're heading for the Six Day Stilt. Now, I haven't been to the Six Day Stilt since I last regularly played this game, which was late 2016, early 2017, so it's been two years. I'm going to spend some time basically just looking around, uh, provided I actually make it to location. I'm just going to look around, scope out the place, uh, look at the various vendors and contemplate what exactly I want to build. So, uh, if all goes according to plan, this is going to be a boring episode. <laughs> um, one thing I had considered was uh, putting off my vending until I reach level 18. That gets me another point of ego. Then I slap on the inventory sturdy no worm skull, which uh, will provide plus one ego. I have 14 ego then. Uh, that'll give me some better deals, but I'm really, I'm, I think I'm good on stuff. We found plenty of water in the flower fields. Uh, I expected that to happen. Uh, we got plenty of trade goods. Uh, those will sell for some nice, nice coin. Uh, should be able to get items that I want, or at least consider getting items I want. Good times. We even have a few books. Uh, Corpus Troilus isn't necessary for me to have, now that I know the, the recipes. Alright. Let's get underway. Alright, the six day stilt. We received 1500 XP for making the pilgrimage. Welcome. Six day stilt. My character is hungry, that's no surprise. Let's have a look around. We have the Warden's Esther. Esther. One rose is fair, five is death. Aided by the Glow Whites for burning one of their leaders in effigy. A Scarlet Shaw engraved, even. Some carbide gear, we know what carbide is like. We have a Preacher over there. A number of signs, protector of the stilt here. Your 
give you folks some time to read this wonderful flavor text. Let's scroll on over to the signs. You've got symbols. You've got symbols. And you've got stylish hats. Basically, you see, will answer your prayers. I think just for funsies and flavor, I'll wear my sturdy Nullworm skull anyway. I'll probably end up selling my skull cap accidentally. Life comes at you fast. I don't think I want to wear that panther's cloak. Yeah, it weighs more. Bang. I think I'm good on everything else. Yeah. I'm interested in having a conversation with the warden. Hand humor and mechanist convert take acid damage. Oh boy. Oh boy. Before we really interact with them, though, we're gonna head here to the south. I'm a, I'm a kind soul that doesn't, just chooses not to set up campfires in town. Why don't we have some more honeyed salt and uh, a divine wafer sheaf? Some lenient dromad dander. What? Sure. Our character extinguished the campfire automatically. How's it going in here, folks? Live and drink. The warden is sleeping, so I will not be having a conversation with the warden. Are you looking for work? I... I am. Sure. Why do you care? Uh, oh, there's only one other question I care about. How do you know they're trouble? Alright. Sure. Doesn't matter who you are. If my travels end up taking me there, I'll go there. Chewboon. Live and drink. The Andre King. Pedals on the wind. The location of a settlement. Let's take a look at this Yonder King. The fluted stem of tasseled yonder brush. Oh yes, yonder brush. Our old friend. Alright. I don't actually know where this is. We do now. The center of a particularly thick coat. I knew how to pronounce this word. Copes. Uh, once upon a time. The vegetation clears. Flower bedecked huts huddle in the clearing within, surrounded by phalanxes of tidy water vine rows and carefully tended law. How's it going? Live and drink, pilgrim. Like I'm in the Old West. Low apothecary. What you got? Weird artifacts. Some humble pie. Minus one ego. Permanent like. <laughs> hmm. I think we'll stay away from that. Plenty of honey. Some yuck wheat stem. Live and drink. Stay, we'll stay away from thievery. For the moment. Unless it becomes critically necessary. Gold fleck tube, tube. Some more humble pie. Blaze injectors and salve injectors. Injectors like these can be valuable. 
uh, becoming immune to heat damage. And, uh, frankly, your temperature not being able to be increased. So have to keep moving around. Good stuff. Live and drink. Over here you have, uh... Not quite a hedge maze. Just some prickly patches. You've got a, a slime farmer down here. How's it going? Let's trade. Some spine fruit jam, and if you don't have any slime and need some slime, the amoeba farmer is selling something. Just for you. Live and drink. Let's go this way. Still grounds. Uh, hello, Grenadier Mechanist Convert. Cast down your artifacts, you're not worthy of their make. May the ground shake, but the six days still never tumble. By the Eaters! Have you ever seen so much treasure? You do have a lot of it, for sure. Uh, that, that moment of, like, careful study and contemplation was... Just me thinking that I haven't seen my evil twin in a while. We have exotic liquids and foods and spices over here. Hello. How's it going? Live and drink, friend. You need liquids. Got your liquids right here. Including a dram of Neutron Flux. Volatile density-based effects to cook meals. Convalescence. We're gonna need some of that. A vessel of exquisitely blown glass, the style hints that it originates from the coast of Fuming God Sea, on the far side of Mogriyi, that it was likely exported by the Dromads. Thankfully, it, like many other things here, uh, is not that pricey. I would not even bother to buy asphalt here unless it were just such a, like, just laziness like, oozed out of every pore of my body due to the asphalt mines being so close. Yeah, we'll pick up the convalescence. I don't really have the room to carry such a thing, though. Um, I can always end up picking up a copper nugget and trading something of weight. Two somethings of weight. There we go, look at us wheeling and dealing already. Here. I have a little bit of extra value. I don't feel like grabbing any of that other stuff. Eh. Nah. Don't think I'm gonna need drams of black ooze or salt. But we're definitely taking the convalescence. It's fine by me. Wanted to make sure. Live and drink. What you got? City state of brazing. Plenty of salt, some honey, cider, more convalescence. That's pricier only because of the container. Cycle gland paste. Spine fruit jam. Congealed shade oil. <laughs> phasing based effects to that. Hmm. Some mirror dust. Again, cooking is an addition that, like, that I'm still getting fully acclimated to. So, all these various items for effects. Uh, oh, sweet, I just noticed my money count. Nice. Live and drink. Now we can enjoy the six day stilt in daylight. Apothecary will poke our heads in. The apothecary is not in. It's fine, no big deal. Up here? What do we got? 
Got a goat farmer. Great. Got a fork horned helm. Gives you some bonus rep with antelopes and goat folk, along with a wide brim hat. Some witch wood bark, which uh, is not a bad grab because of its restorative properties, uh, though it may end up confusing you. I actually am going to end up grabbing that. I will trade you some trinkets in exchange. There. Did it give me a hard time, have I? No? Great. Live and drink. I notice now that I have 419 in value instead of... Whatever. We have some more Witchwood Park. Mint, smoke, and wine. What's going on in here, guys? Live and drink. Doesn't look like the actual traitors here. Live and drink, traveler. Show mercy to a weary pig pilgrim. You got it. Live and drink. Another pilgrim over there. The bronze longsword. 60 drams of fresh water. What wealth. Cooking preparation. Smells like a childhood meal. Hmm. What you got? Some beetle jerky, concentrated gall black gall beard, clan paste. <laughs> Rock jerky, mash lag, lag, host. Some various drams of liquids. Live and drink. Over here, we have electric snails. We have our snail farmer, some small rosy tubes, electric snail shell, negative one to hit. We want a reputation with mollusks, live and drink. And no hard feelings towards you. I'm being stalked by an electric snail. Live and drink, chef. What you got? Some bagels, phase silk. Mmm. A congealed salve, ruining perfectly good salve injectors. To make them into food. Baking consort so I. <laughs> Freeze dried horse shrooms. Live and drink. How's it going? you got equipped. Mr. Haberdasher, may you find shade and vittle. Oh, with this Templar banner. A quilted shawl, grassy earth man, painted leather cloak. Let's take a look. Another piece of history. We didn't even have to own it. We just learned. Love and drink. You know, why don't we equip the banner? Hello, evil tutorial man. It's been so long. Took a shot at me and applied a whole kind of injector. I do not want to use my electro bow here at all. Like, I don't want to fire once. Like, I'll let all these errant, errant firings happen. Hell, I'll even stand over here. Evil Tutorial Man, uh, getting hurt by the Hulk honey. Uh, the few times a projectile has come my way, uh, it's just whizzed past. I haven't taken any damage. Uh, speaking of damage, uh... The video thumbnail for the uh, last episode confused a number of viewers, which entertained me. Uh, 
due to like the completion bar and what have you. I got hit for one point of damage after all that. But Evil Tutorial Man is upsetting folks around here. And has taken a lot of damage. Well, just started applying salve injectors. The Argonauts here. It's evil, you. Skulk injector. You see, this is an opportunity for me to pick up any prizes. Uh... It's like Might and Magic 7 for Blood and Honor, luring dragonflies into the little village on Emerald Isle. Kinda makes me a bad person, right? And hey, if I needed any blood for any of the things I was doing... Mmm. All these errant shots. Uh, evil me is just not that damn bright. You took a high capacity solar cell? Alright, yeah, sure. Arcanaut finally cleaves to the armor there. This is a. It's very nice to see how 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 sturdy I would be though, shrugging off the attacks of these mortals. All these shots going wild. I just watch in awe as like this alternate universe me goes ballistic. Uh, Pilgrim dies from all the errant electro bow shots that he tried to send my way. Finally, Evil Tutorial Man goes down. Don't mind me, everyone. Just at a. A little bit of information about Mushid. It's hard for me to carry stuff. Bloody Flaming Steel Dagger. It's bloody because of... Well... You saw what happened. <laughs> That's some good stuff, though. And there's more stuff that I just can't pick up. I'm nine pounds overburdened. A tragedy. Why don't we... Just drop these two things for now. We'll get more room for water. Fucking folding chair. It's not professional wrestling. I'm not gonna need to hammer anyone down. No one sit in that chair, okay? How's it going? Live and drink, friend. <laughs> finger coats. Let's trade. What you got in your finger coats? Eh, some weird artifacts. Okay. Might be interested. Busy looking around, admiring the place, though. An ogre ape? Yikes. Extra dimensional slate mantle. How's it going, ogre ape? Humble before my fathers, I walk. Drink, Ogre Ape. Live and drink. I gotta remember you have that. I'm just like scrutinizing my money. We've actually run into a situation where I don't have enough money to get something. <laughs> Ego! Ego! Live and drink, Ogre Ape. Uh, 
If only only 17 of my evil twins were here, and I could lure them into shooting that ogre ape. Uh, live and drink. Grenades and more. Hello. Understandably, just a bunch of weird artifacts, which are grenades. Those are like Mark II versions. 18 drams of wine? We're good on wine. Live and drink. Good on wine, he says. The bright side, I do know that if I run out of cash, there's some more laying around boom spheres. That's more grenades. Wooly boar skin gloves. Transfers us to heat and cold. Cool. The drams of oil if they're required. Live and drink. Got a nice tour of the six day stilt thus far. I did note that would be happening. This is a bloody Arcanaut from the fight. Over here, more of the stilt grounds. A shoemaker. Piety compels you to deliver your sacred relics to the priest of the cathedral. Cleanse them of your filth. Yep. Those priests want you to chuck artifacts down there. With a well. You gain favor with them, but... In the process. You lose your shinies. Good. Love and drink. I'm just window shopping right now, folks. Taking you folks around town if you've never been to the Six Day Stilt before. A smoke lounge? We... There's a... <laughs> nice! Okay! Yeah! Yeah, alright. Alright, yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure, okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um... Uh... Yeah. Nah, this is fine. I got... I got no problems with this. Nope. Uh... Honeyed Salt, it's been a blast. Uh, I have enjoyed you. Uh, we've... we've had good times together. Um, we've had bad times together. Let's just, uh... Let's just pour it out. Just pour it nearby. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Sure. I'll leave our Honeyed Salt there. For anyone else to enjoy, because, uh, we're gonna, we'll just, uh, we'll just take some gel. Sure. Why not? It's here. I'm not gonna take it all of it, of course. That'll be fine. What's up, guys? Urchin Belcher and Pariah to its people. Yeah. Alright. Shall we? Why not? <laughs> Star Apples and Cider? Live and drink, friend. An eyeless crab over here? No, it's a Rustation. For whatever reason, I just thought that was a bloody eyeless crab. I get them confused. Praise our Argon fathers, wises of our beings. Argent? Argent. Rock is croaking. Farewell, scuttle friend. Laser turret tinker and mechanist. Mechanimus convert. Build your own artifacts. I know that's like some data disks. Great. Live and drink. What you got on you? Some stuff. Along with some corrected vision. Courtesy of the spectacles. You know, I think, uh, I think the Electro Bow is a wonderful thing to keep equipped on me. Uh, for the Evil Twin. Because, uh, well, that's suboptimal gameplay there. Like, this character is not really for the whole archery thing. The Electro Bow is a good weapon. But, uh, if the Evil Twin's just gonna spend time standing there doing that, like, across the entire screen, that's not the worst situation. Just 
depends on the location. Like, there have been times where it's been inconvenient. Come, browse my wares, friend. Sure. Got a weird artifact in there. Live and drink, though. Again, just doing a little bit of window shopping. One moment. Just wanted to check that. Been a half hour of window shopping. Boot and shoe. Hey, uh. Live and drink. Rockasins. Copper nugget. I do like those. Do have some engraved steel boots here. You can't quite match the, the price of that. Trying to make sure I don't accidentally sell my skull cap or my. We'll probably be fine. How about having this and this? That gets us close. This basically gets us there. I'll take the loss. Live and drink. Expect some jerky to be over here. Woven tunic. No, just, well, there is some, along with some raw pig meat. Another copper nugget. I think I'm good. Live and drink. Well, I'll just buy and get rid of 10 drams of water. That way I can carry more. Like, more water. You know, from the... The stuff that dropped. Chatchment knows no other name. More of the still grounds here. Another little snail farmer. Don't think we need to do window shopping with him. It's actually gotten dark. We've been here so damn long. Sticky honey. What's up? Let's trade. Huh. Neat. I like it. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Live and drink. Wisdom and knowledge, you say. You're looking to uh, buy books? Corpus Choilus? It's nice. Uh, there's a guaranteed copy on Mayor Nuntu, but, uh, you know, you might not have it, or something may have happened to it. An illuminated book. Explain the extra, extra cost. Live and drink, though. We're good. What do we have here? Wisd more wisdom and knowledge. Bookbinder. I'm going. Live and drink. Heading across the path here. Do 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 Apothecary. Artifacts. Tube humble pie. Yuckweed stem. Live and drink. A good time for living and drinking, to be sure. Here's the rest of the still grounds before we get back to the front. Over here, we have foodstuffs. Hi. Right. Live and drink, chef. Dawn glider tail. Boiler glide gland paste. Spectre grilling. Live and drink. Hmm. Something was happening back there. What do we have here in the smoke lounge? <laughs> Got enough tally runt. How's it going? Live and drink, travelers. Show mercy to a weary pilgrim. And over here, we have an eyeless king crab. Farewell, scuttle friend.
a lot of blood over here. Some, uh, some antics happened. You, excuse me. Just to. All right, good stuff. Then finally we have over here, spicy foods. And we come back to the front. Our stylish hats to be found. Fork horned helm. You've seen that before. A crimson hood. A copper nugget. We'll take it. Live and drink. And over here, sweet and savory. Plenty of food and slime and salt and a little bit of cider. The stewing of the ploy. Live and drink. Okay. I didn't quite get the vending I wanted to get done. Well, done. Live and drink, traveler. Welcome to the stilt. It's the six day stilt, huh? It's colossal. Beautiful. I see why the chrome stewards gather here. Is it true what they say? That the stilt's a petrified kraken? What is in each of these tents? Ah, no. So many folks. Praise be. Nah. Live and drink, wardens. Live and drink. That's a good point to stop. We, uh... Can, uh, set up camp again. We took so long going around the six days still that we're hungry again. Let's have ourselves another meal. Another fancy meal, even though it's completely unnecessary. We could just have random stuff. That's not, though. Let's treat ourselves. Eh, yeah, alright, cool. And extinguish the fire. Yeah. We've had a great tour of the Six Day Stilt. I have not made any purchases yet. Uh, next time. Uh, perhaps I'll take care of those purchases off camera. And, uh, we'll delve inside. Hope you've enjoyed the tour, and if you've not, well, maybe you enjoyed my evil twin getting fucked. I'll see you later.